A very good morning to you and welcome here to Barcelona. Remember the name, Pedro Acosta. How does he keep doing it? Pedro Acosta in podium contention. A rare talent in a stacked field of quality riders. Oh, this kid is something special. Incredible from the Red Bull Rookies Cup champion. I would call myself maybe like a project leader in Ayo Motorsport. I feel also responsible, uh, let's say, to scouting always the riders for the team. It's very important in racing that we are every day focusing for the right things. And of course, somehow as a project leader, my, one of my jobs is to follow that we are all focusing for the right things. And uh, that's same for the riders also, that we need to follow the riders and help them to keep think simple and focus for the right things. I many times repeat for the riders also that if we keep the racing simple, it's simple. Well, I started when I was five uh, with a mini cross bike, but then when I was six, I, I changed to the road. It's the best way to, to, to start. I think the first person that helped you are, are your fathers. Paco, my, my helper here, uh, helped me a lot because if he don't give me, you know, a, a classes, I couldn't be here. Of course, Pedro is just turning 17 years old, so work is still beginning. Big talent is there, he has this great attitude and he is easy guy to work. But what I mainly like him, that he really understands that he has so much to learn he has all the time feet on the ground, and that's very important to keep the focus for the right things. I'm living in a dream, and finally you have to take off the risk that you have to take to do the, the result, but I think for me it's the best one. What I have talked with him many times, he also needs difficult moments and difficult weekends to learn. Of course, the Qatar race to win from the pit lane was something really, really special, and we have we have not seen many times something some performance like that. What an unbelievable Grand Prix! Incredible. Pedro Acosta over the line, 7.2 seconds. But it was one experience. Six laps to go. There is Pedro Acosta in 13th place. The podium. Well, that's not a fantasy now. Here is Pedro Acosta, who we remind you started this race wow. from pit lane. Incredible from the Red Bull rookies. Cup champion. Might win it, Matt. He could win it. Pedro Acosta. He started from pit lane. He's about to lead. He's in the slipstream. History has been made. Acosta's got it. He's got it. Unbelievable. Big Wow. Pedro Just Acosta. Oh. Oh. How has he done it? It's just the one race. So for me, it's more important to keep feet on the ground and continue the learning race by race. The Spanish GP, I think for all the Spanish riders, are, are the best one, no? Now are the, the first race with Pablo, and I think uh, are going to be special. Tours here, you have to, to know the track, if it's a new track, but help, help a lot to, to take again the relationship with the team and to, to start to think what you want to do in the track. I look to small details, like, you know, the white lines, the, the grip of the curve, something like this, because to the riders helps a lot, you know, to, to look for the line and, you know, a small details. Racing is everything, it's everything, but anyway, uh, you have to, to keep believing in yourself. The goal, the beginning of the season, 
was enjoyed. The, the goal is still being the same, but you know now every race we are in the in the top group, you know we have to improve the quality. But you know uh, I I'm happy with this first season in the Moto3. In the championship at the moment, Pedro Acosta still has a pretty sizable lead up front with 52 points, but behind him, there is a real melee. Had our expectations slightly heightened by what a rookie can do in this category. Attitude is one of the most important things. Part of my job and let's say to enthusiasm is also to follow young riders. You start to be interested about some young talent when you see that he's fast and he's performing well and doing good results in the races and practices. But at least me personally, I'm looking what kind of character is there behind. It's very important to see what kind of targets they have, what kind of basic attitude is there. That's why many times before we select riders for our team or our, our academy or project, it's very important to know a little bit more than just to need the results of the ride. Acosta, I think he had the potential to be on the podium at Mugello. We have some good feelings and we will see in Aki Ayo, again after the race, just saying, we need to remember he's a rookie and this is a really good result. <laughs> Even though Pedro is clearly yeah, a bit disappointed with the eighth place. Pedro Acosta, championship leader, of course. Can't see him on our leaderboard just yet. So let's keep an eye then on uh, Pedro Acosta. How does that compare to this morning's FP1 times, well, that would put him third overall, which is good for Acosta. Increasing the flow of this final section that we're watching Pedro Acosta navigate through now as well, as he runs on to... And he just pulled out more, and he's just better and better and better per sector there, wasn't he? I thought Pedro Acosta's lap was seriously impressive, but, well, eight tenths faster. Rodrigo has gone. From the Rookies Cup to Moto3, you know, the difference is that here, you have a lot of people working only for you. The step from Rookies Cup to Moto3 World Championship is still quite huge. What we can see this year with Pedro Acosta, that he do it in a really natural way, he really surprised all of us. We follow him quite closely and uh, let's say the racing spirit that he saw that he is really the race rider that sometimes even if practices was not going in the perfect way on Sunday he was always there to fight for the win. It is Pedro Acosta that has uh, a huge lead and here is the world championship leader Pedro 
Acosta dropping now down into turn 14, the last right-hander before heading on to the one-kilometre long straight. A real fast last three corners here, maybe latch on to Acosta. He's going to pick up some pressure slipstream as well here. He might just be a little bit too far back, although Acosta's got that horribly wrong, dropping down the hill into the, into the penultimate corner. Good morning to you and welcome here to Barcelona. One week on from the Italian Grand Prix and we've got fans back in the grandstands. Fantastic to see. Over 20,000 expected here. And we prepare for action at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. It's the Catalan Grand Prix. Pedro Acosta last night said he's watched a lot of former Moto3 races here and he's confident he can fight back into contention. He believes he's still got a part to play, particularly in the podium battle. Pedro Acosta, the world championship leader, has an awful lot of work to do. We'll be looking all the way back to row nine for the number 37. 25th on the grid. He's done the hard work before winning from pit lane. FIM president. Lights out and away we go. There's Pedro Acosta just in the middle of your picture there, trying to find a way through some of the minor places at the back. Alcoba. Pedro Acosta is just at the back of this group. He's in 17th place, but at least he's in touch. He can see the leading pack. In fourth, Acosta now is starting to really threaten. Pedro Acosta up to 13th now. 1.8 seconds off the race leader, the world championship leader. He just looks so relaxed oh. and comfortable on the motorcycle, doesn't he, Pedro Acosta? It's unbelievable that he's a rookie. Let's uh, recap and look who it is that's going to try and take the lead. Pedro Acosta from 25th on the grid. It is the lead into turn one. How does he keep doing it? Pedro Acosta in podium contention. Oh, here comes Acosta on the outside line through. Also, up the inside is his team. Hey! Oh, that was close. Cutting straight across the front wheel there of Acosta was Gabriel Rodrigo. Crazy racing. Moto 3. I absolutely love it. They're all sitting up. No one wants to lead over the line. I'm sure I tend to agree with me because it just bunches up the pack here and it really does bring. Oh, look at this. This oh. is the last lap. Pick your winner, ladies oh. and gentlemen, as we go into turn oh, one. A... How has he managed to stay on board? It's now going to be a drag race to the line. Will it be Garcia or Alcoba? The chequered flag is out here in Barcelona. They're side by side. Garcia is just about going to pinch it. He wins here at home. What an extraordinary Moto3 race. The world championship leader, Pedro Acosta, went across the line in seventh. I always started in the back, you know. I get the experience again because Always in the last lap, you know, I have to read a little bit more the race, but anyway, I'm happy. Uh, we are still getting points, and we, we are competitive in all the conditions. And we are not thinking too much about the championships or, or the wins. We are really passionate for this work, and if we remember, beside our passion, to enjoy every day and keep the, really the focus for the work what we are doing, we have a good chance to improve every day, and I think this is one of the most enjoyable thing here, if we can see that we can day by day be better and day by day learn new things. Hey. Bueno, nos vemos, encantado, eh. Cuidado, eh. Ya nos vemos. 